Uso uso yung AI ngayon. It can do basically anything. It takes over jobs. Students use it to write their homework. It can write books, edit videos. It can basically do anything daw. To be honest, I was only mildly interested in all of that until I heard you can download the large language models which fuel AI and then you can run them locally on your computer to run games. Games, you see. Now you have me interested. Now I'm a big adventure game nerd. Buenos dias. But the promise of AI goes back to one of the earliest adventure games of them all. Zork, the text-based adventure games. You're standing in an open field. And imagine, with the current technology, you can type in anything into the computer and the AI will dynamically respond to what you type, to what you want your character to do. And if AI can take you on an adventure, then that includes adventures under the sheets, if you know what I mean. Bagay ata sa bedroom voice ko ngayon. So we'll be also tackling some not safer work games a little bit later on in the video. I decided to try AI out, but before that, I decided to check out the good deals from our sponsor. So ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mo lang sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang ang order. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes na cdk ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com I'm not tackling in this video how to run AI on your computer. Long story short, medyo mahirap siya. Definitely still in the realm of advanced users and those who like to tinker. Last time I had to monkey around with this many command line prompts was back in the day when I was mining. Not for the faint of heart. I did do a live stream on how to install the large language models you need and how to get it to run. Link to the live stream in the video description below. Safe for work games muna tayo. The first one I tried was obviously inspired by Star Trek and there are a lot of call outs to fans. The name of your ship is the Galaxy, which is the ship class of the Enterprise D, Picard ship. The ship also has an NCC prefix. The ships on the other side are the iconic Cavort class bird of prey for the Klingons. Like this is heavy Star Trek. One problem off the bat was I think the storyline was too heavy that there was significant lag between my prompts and then the response from the story. Like it was really thinking about what to do next. The other problem is that while the story is very involved, the logical progression is a bit weird. It begins with me on the bridge, everything is fine, and then literally in the next message, there are 3,000, 3,000 birds of prey surrounding me. So I warp the hell out of there and retreat. But the next message is that there's an ongoing battle and that the enemy is slowly being drawn into your grasp. Like I am literally one against 3,000, but heck yes, that was my plan all along. So in classic Star Trek fashion, I find a nebula to hide in. But again, the next response is weird. We've cleared the first obstacle, my character says. First obstacle to what? We are literally running for our lives. Alright, beaming out of here to another adventure, this one sci-fi cyberpunk. Same problem as in the Star Trek adventure, the story is very intricate but makes leaps that are hard to follow. Here we're looking for a fellow called Xander. I have no idea if he's a good guy or a bad guy, but my sidekick would like to use her knife for some reason. So we go to this building and enter a room where we expect Xander to be. But there's no one there. But suddenly my sidekick is now talking to Xander like she has a comm line open to him or something. This one was mildly interesting at least because I was able to interact with more things like hacking cameras, sneaking around, getting into a gunfight. The world felt more real and believable. I did try to be action star creative and have my character shoot a gun out of the hand of an enemy. But the AI didn't like that and had my sidekick kill him. 
But to be fair, it was a bit more flexible when I wanted to do something it didn't suggest. My sidekick goes, we don't need to fight those guys. And then I go, but that's more fun. And she says, okay. So a bit more impressive, but let's see how the AI does with a more intimate scenario. The first not safe for work scenario was a typical brothel type setup. If you have played any NSFW computer game, you know that for some reason, the girls do not like to be rushed. And this is also true in NSFW AI games. Believe me, I tried. But a few, you're a great person and you're doing an amazing job. The AI feels comfortable enough around me to let me hug her. It. Whatever. Picky, our AI is not. Although it is possible to escalate things quickly and the AI will respond in character. Compliments though will quickly win her back to you which makes the character seem a bit airheady. And yes, this does get quite spicy. Finally, I asked for a threesome just to see how the AI would respond and it was able to take on the role of two characters so that was impressive. As I have never had a threesome in real life, this is probably the closest I'm going to get to that so thanks AI. The last adventure I tried was the most personal. It's a one-on-one -on -one with the Rey Ayanami character of Evangelion, and it's the typical Rey who is initially submissive and passive. So much so that at the start of the adventure, she's basically letting anyone do anything to her for whatever amount they'll give her. Now, I really wanted to throw the AI curveballs, so instead of the usual responses, moralistic, don't do that, savior, I'll take care of you, parasite, well, let me use you as well, I tried to be creative and settled on business adventure. Advisor. I told Ray she was selling herself short and she should charge accordingly. And the AI agreed. Now, I really wanted to see if this could become a business simulation, but I'm not comfortable being a pimp even in a fictitious setting. So we ended up going out on a very lovely ice skating date where Ray asked me to be her boyfriend. And I said only on the condition that she stopped seeing those other guys. And she said yes, and it was wonderful. And then I had to stop playing because my wife was getting suspicious of how come I was typing so fast into my computer. Quick note though that AI does not understand Filipino food at all. Healthy and light. Yeah, right. Before we close though, this was still an NSFW adventure and it did get spicy too.